So let's review the order of the operations. I'm going to remove this. So let's say, for example, that we have, I'm going to add result equals to 20 plus 30 times 2. Save this. You can see we have uh, 80. And this is happening because this operation is going to be done first. So 30 by 2 is going to be 60. Then I'm going to increase this number by 20. But for example, let's say that you want to make that 20 plus 30 first. You can use the parentheses, same as we have in math, for example. And then this operation is going to be first, 20 plus 30. And then the result is going to be multiplied by 2. You can see we have something like this. A really, a really nice example of this is going to be, for example, 20% discount from a shopping cart. Let's uh, build this project. It's going to be really simple. So, for example, let's say that we have a constant. It's going to be cart items. We're going to add this equals to uh, 20 plus 30 plus... 30 plus 40, something like this. Then we have the discount, and we're going to add const discount. The discount is going to be the total of the cart items divided by 100. And then outside of the parentheses, it's going to be multiplied by the 20%. Then we're going to add another one, const. It's going to be total to pay. It's going to be total pay. It's going to be the cart items minus the discount. So, for example, here on the bottom, we're going to print the results. And I'm going to add console.log. And I'm going to add total. Right here, I'm going to concatenate this. And we're going to add cart items. So, if I remove this, save this. And you can see we have total 120. Next, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add, for example, the discount. The discount is going to be equals to this discount. We're going to apply a 20% discount from this total, which at this, at this moment is 120. So save this. You can see the 20% of this 120 is 24. So finally, we're going to make another copy. We're going to add here pay. And we're going to add this total pay. We can add a dollar sign right here. You can see we have to pay 96. And we have a discount of 24. The total without the discount was 120. And you can see that this is working fine. And this is a nice example of the use of, of the parentheses and also the use of the math operations in JavaScript. So before we finish this, I'm going to remove again this code. Uh, this code is going to be available in the code snippets, remember? We're going to add let score equals to 5. And let's say that we're building a video game. We're going to send this to the console, score. And for example, let's say that uh, we are playing and we did something in the game that is giving us some points. We're going to add pl score plus plus. Save this. And you can see that the plus plus is going to increment this number by one. You can see we have six right here. If you want to decrement this by one, you can also use score minus minus, and it's going to be five. Now let's uh, copy this. I'm going to remove everything and read it here on the console. I'm going to type let score equals five, and I'm going to show you something. If we add a score right here, you can see we have five. If I add a score plus plus, you can see we also have 5. Then if I type score again, it's going to print 6. So this uh, plus plus is going to increase the value after it's printed on the console. So let's uh, clear this. Let the score 5. We're going to add a score. You can fix that by adding plus plus score. And this is going to increase the value first. And then it's going to print the variable. And you can see now we have five, uh, six. If we add score, score plus plus, we're going to have six. But if we add score, we're going to have seven because this is going to print the result first. Then it's going to increase the value by one. 
the same if you if you decide to use the decrement you can add score minus minus and you can see seven score you can see we have six if you add minus minus score then it's going to the decrement by one and then it's going to print the value finally i want to show you something i'm gonna reload right here i'm gonna add let score equals to five and you have increments by one or plus plus but you can also increment by another number so for example you can add a score plus equals to 10 and you will have a 7 from the previous result and it's going to increase 10 to that value so if you're building a video game normally there are enemies that will give you more points than others and this is the way that you can control how many points you want to give the user when he's playing the, the game so in the next video we're going to see the comparison operators and we continue learning the basics or the fundamentals of javascript